Hello guys, Game Changers back again and in today's video I'm showing you my top 5 series shortcuts of 2019 so far and that's pretty much it, let's get into it. So guys, starting off with series shortcut number 1, um, this is web colour, uh, web colour changer basically says what it's going to allow you to do as you can see it don't work on the iCloud website uh, you'll see me try it in a second it's a little mistake that I made really but it does work on other websites such as Twitter Facebook Instagram and so on so the web version of them you can change the colors of them whenever you feel fit to so as you'll see I'll go through a few different a few different colors as soon as I get on to the actual website in a second you do want to make sure Siri shortcuts is turned on in your tab so you can tap on it when you open the share button in your your safari so in your browser as you can see you are a multiple different colors you can use um, obviously that's up to you which ones you do and don't um, but yeah as you can see it didn't work in that but as you can see I already got the red Facebook if I refresh it will go back to normal but if I press the share button, scroll over to Siri, Siri shortcuts I should say, press the web color changer, it'll play, I'll choose the color, uh, let's go blue, press allow, and there you go, the whole of Facebook is now blue, apart from obviously the images, um, say I want a different color though, you can just go back onto it, press it again, scroll down, um, let's go gold, I wouldn't say this is really gold, it's more of just a yellow, standard yellow guys, as you can probably tell. But still, it's an absolutely awesome tweak, so let's get on to the next one. So for tweak number two, tweak, I mean shortcut number two, uh, this will allow you to download a fake Cydia on your iOS device via a shortcut. Um, realistically, it is just a Cydia alt, but it has been covered up and shown as to be Cydia pretty good copycat I would say except when you go into all the different tabs it's all different apps and um, third party app stores and so on that you can download instead uh, which obviously gives it away uh, as you can see it takes you to this website you want to just press the share button add to your home and type in Cydia so obviously it looks legit as you can see there it is on my home screen now it looks like my uh, iOS 12 device got Cydia the only thing that's not legit is that loading screen, the loading page. But as soon as you're on your edge, you can see the red the red bit comes up on the manage. Tells me what device I'm running and so on on the bottom. You can tell it's a web clip though because of the way the bottom comes up like that. It's, it's, you know, I haven't got the no bounce. But as you can see, there's a bunch of um, iOS third party app stores here that you can install directly from this. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool guys, there's, there's a lot of different things you can do on there, a lot of apps that you can also install, as in um, plus plus apps, hacked apps, uh, and so on, you'll see all them in a second, these are just some of the stuff that they got, this is when you go into changes, and then when you go into installed, there's all the plus plus apps, and you can go through to expert, and recent, and it's got games, and movies, apps, and so forth in them. Uh, it's pretty good. It's, it has got the search bar as well, so you can search for other apps and so on. But yeah, that's the end of that. Let's get on to the next one. So for this shortcut, uh, basically you want to go to the link down below. It's called Unblock Me. It's not finished. It will be getting worked on and updated. The link will get updated down below when it does get updated. But basically this is going to allow you to use websites in school, uh, in work, uh, websites that normally are blocked and not allowed to be accessed this will allow you to use them um, so it's pretty cool uh, as you'll see I'll open it up now and you'll see what you can actually do in it so let's get this shortcut running press ok basically it takes you to a, a web browser that got a VPN active so you can search whatever you want as you can see it'll, it'll unblock all of these websites Netflix, YouTube, Pornhub, Discord and so on so yeah you can enter the dark web i know it says dank web that's just for jokes shits and giggles as far as i can tell you can install onion browser 
which is the VPN website that allows you to go into the dark web. You can remove screen time and you can download apps and games. It takes you directly to the Ignition app. Uh, if you go to the app section, obviously, you can download tons of apps and games ad free. Uh, no jailbreak or PC needed, just a simple shortcut. But if you if you don't want to use the shortcut, you can just go to this website and you'll, you can still get the apps completely ad free. So there is absolutely no worries there, guys. Uh, that is completely up to you if you want to go and do that. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I am getting like really, really excited about all these brand new uh, shortcuts that are coming out because there are a lot of new ones that I honestly wasn't expecting. It's really surprising how far people are going with these shortcuts and how amazing some of the stuff is that they are bringing out to do with these shortcuts. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of this one. Uh, we're going to move on to the next one now. So, here comes shortcut number four. Obviously, we've just gone through through, and this is speed intensifier. Basically, uh, it's going to give you tips, tricks, and a lot of different stuff to help you speed up your iPhone and make it run at its fullest potential. Uh, if, you, if you ask me, this is more than you can ask for. Because if you if you've got an older iPhone and you, you want to use this, you're running iOS 12, but still your phone's not running to its fullest potential. Come on to here, you can ring, respring the device as you'll see me do at the end of this What's part of the video. Uh, today, you tap on a couple of the different sections as you can see it's taking feeling. me to here to try and help me make my phone feel fast again. Big shout out to all I took is tech for that video and for uh, Cloud FTL for making these tweaks. As you can see, it's telling me how to make basically literally I'm sorry guys I got a really bad call but this is basically it's telling me to delete stuff what I want to delete how many of what I want to delete uh, let me put my phone on super low power mode for when I charge my phone it'll charge super fast rather than slow like an older phone would as you can see I just resprung uh, I've literally come straight back into the phone because you can see the little animation of it first respringing I'm going to show it here now. I'm just going to scroll through this video until we get there, and you'll see the little respring animation when I press it. Just showing that the respring does work. So, respring, there it is. There's the animation. As you can see, I resprung my device. It loaded back up, and it did honestly feel faster. So, on to the next one shortcut number five. Now, shortcut number five incognito mode and private tab. Basically, what this is going to do, it's going to give you a fake IP address. Once it gives you the fake IP address, it'll load up a website where you're allowed to search through stuff. As soon as you close down the website in the shortcut, the, the tab and the fake IP disappear. They can't be used anymore. So, that's pretty much all this, uh, this does. But it does keep you hidden and safe from anyone tracking or finding what you are looking at. So I do honestly advise doing this. It's probably one of the best ways to go about searching for stuff that maybe some of you don't want people knowing that you're searching. Um, I honestly, I actually seen this on All I Talk is Text video. Big shout out to him. Because um, as soon as I saw it, I thought, wow, that, that's actually an amazing shortcut. So I thought, why not make a video on it myself? As you can see, I've made a few different, sh there's a few different shortcuts in here. Hopefully there was something that you guys liked. Um, hopefully you did enjoy the video because that's that's pretty much the end of it so don't forget to comment subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one peace out guys it's been game changers keep it cool